Today we are here in a beautiful cool season uh, tall fescue lawn and we're going to talk about fertilizing for the fall and also how to calibrate your fertilizer for your lawn. So I wanted to show you a couple of different types of fertilizer spreaders. A common one you might see for small jobs maybe just in a landscape bed or something like that is just a handheld rotary spreader. This particular spreader is more for your lawn area and this is what's called a drop spreader meaning that the material is going to drop straight down below the spreader here and this is just operated with the wheels you push it you can pull a trigger it'll open up down at the bottom and drop fertilizer or seed out it has uh, different settings on it so you can make the slits either very small or very wide depending on the size of your particles now the spreader that we're actually going to use today is what's called a rotary spreader and this particular spreader you put material inside of it again you adjust your settings uh, based on what type of fertilizer you have and then as you're starting to walk you pull a trigger and it's going to spread fertilizer to the right and to the left and in front of you so before we get started with our calibration, I want to talk a little bit about the different types of fertilizer for your lawn. And so when we calibrate spreaders, it can be sometimes a difficult and challenging job and we have to do a little bit of math. Now if you want to take an easy route, I always recommend to properly calibrate your spreader first of all, but there is an easier way to do it. You can take just your favorite brand of fertilizer and get a matching brand of fertilizer spreader. And on the back of that bag, it's going to tell you if you have uh, this particular fertilizer spreader and this particular fertilizer, you set it up to a setting of number six, put your fertilizer in, um, open up the, uh, um, rotary, or the drop spreader here, and walk across, and that's going to apply the fertilizer just at the recommended amount. Now, a lot of times for our yards like this, uh, in the fall, we usually want to apply maybe anywhere from a half a pound of actual nitrogen per thousand square feet to a full one pound of actual nitrogen per 1,000 square feet. So what we're going to do today is actually calibrate this spreader to apply one pound of actual nitrogen per thousand square feet. So now here's where the math comes into play. Uh, on these fertilizer bags, you're going to see uh, some numbers on them. On this particular one, it's on, the numbers are on the back, or on the front here, sorry. And this is a 3400. Zero, zero. So that first number is for nitrogen, uh, the second for phosphorus or phosphate, and the third for potassium or potash. And so this particular fertilizer is, just has nitrogen only. This fertilizer here, the formulation on this bag is a 17-17-17, so it has equal amounts of nitrogen, uh, phosphate, and potash in this particular fertilizer. So we always recommend that the first thing you do before you fertilize your yard or any landscape or garden area is go ahead and take a soil test. Once you take that soil test, get the results back, it will tell you how much nutrients you're going to need in your yard. So again, typically for the uh, cool season grass lawns, anywhere from a half a pound to one pound of nitrogen per 1,000 square feet at this time of year, and then apply your phosphorus and your potassium according to your soil test results. Another thing to be aware of is the uh, particular particle sizes of your fertilizer. And so here we have an example of a, a very fine fertilizer to a very large prill fertilizer. So obviously the fine fertilizer is going to come out uh, much more as you open up uh, the opening at the bottom of the spreader where the large prill fertilizer you're going to have to open that up a little bit wider so that it can come out evenly on both sides. So just because you have a uh, one particular fertilizer set at say setting of five doesn't mean you can use that for every fertilizer. Check the uh, particle size first and then kind of go from there. So today what we're going to do is I'm, I've just weighed out here um, 12 pounds of this uh, triple 17 fertilizer and I'm going to um, just go ahead and load it up into the spreader and I've, I've set out a, a test area here I've got a, a couple of flags here and I've measured out a test run that's 50 feet long okay so I'm trying uh, my target here is about one pound of actual nitrogen per thousand square feet. So I can just take that number one pound and I can divide it by the percentage of nitrogen in this fertilizer which is uh, 17%. So I just take one 
divided by 0.17 and I'm going to come out with a number of, of uh, roughly six pounds. So what that tells me is I need to put out six pounds of actual fertilizer and that will apply actually one pound of actual nitrogen. So another way you can test your math on that is just take six, multiply that times 0.17 and it should tell you how much nitrogen you're putting out in the yard. So the next step I want to do is figure out um, how wide am I actually spreading this fertilizer. So I have a 50 foot long test run but I also need to know how far is it going to my right and how far is it going to my left. So as I'm walking <clears throat> I started with 12 pounds I'm going to go through my test area 50 feet I'm going to take note of where it's throwing to the right where it's throwing to the left and when I'm finished I'm going to measure that width and then I'm going to come back and weigh how much fertilizer I have left and that's going to tell me how much fertilizer I applied over my test area so we'll go ahead and do that. Another thing to note is when we're spreading fertilizer we never want to open this when we're standing still we only open this and close it as we're walking so I'm gonna get to walking first open it keep walking to the end and then uh, close it before I stop walking So now I've laid out a measuring tape to get my effective uh, spreader width here, or how far I threw it to the right and to the left. And I've measured it out to 10 feet. So I was going about 5 feet to my right, about uh, 5 feet to my left for a total of 10 feet. So now if, if I look, I had a, a 50 foot long test area at a 10 foot wide effective spreader width. So if I do the math on that, I get 500 square feet. So if we go back, I, I was looking to apply one pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet. I used a triple 17 fertilizer. So I took my one divided by the 0.17 and I got six pounds of actual fertilizer per thousand square feet. And that would give me uh, one pound of actual nitrogen. Now I have a 500 square foot test area. So I'm, I'm shooting for six pounds of fertilizer per thousand. I have a 500 square foot test area. So basically I'm trying to apply three pounds of nitrogen over my 500 square foot test area and that tells me my calibration is spot on. And so what we did was we we took the fertilizer and poured it into the bucket, put it on the scale here. I started at uh, right around 12 pounds. I ended at uh, 9 pounds and so I put out about 3 pounds of, of fertilizer over the area so I'm right on with my calibration. So I double check my setting was uh, spreader setting was 12 on this fertilizer spreader so I know whenever I apply this particular brand, this particular formulation of fertilizer, if I put my spreader to 12, I'm going to put out one pound of actual nitrogen per thousand square feet. So notice that was only in one direction. Some people like to maybe be a little bit more careful and maybe they go two directions. In that case, I'd have to recalibrate where I'm only going to put out half the amount. In other words, I'd put out half a pound of nitrogen, so maybe going uh, north and south, half a pound of nitrogen going east and west across my yard. That helps to ensure more uniform coverage and can uh, uh, avoid errors when you're out there doing that. So hope these tips help you as you're putting out your fall fertilizer applications on your lawn.